basically since we're in one of many spots here, basically the same thing, just potholes. And... Basically what we're concentrating in is it's early spring. Our fish are staging. Yeah. They're not quite ready to go to the passes and breed. So they're coming out of the residential canals. They're coming out of the marinas, anywhere where there's a lot of warm water, seawalls and everything. And they, they don't want to go too far away from warmth. So a lot of times when the sun comes up, it beams up against seawalls and the sand and it heats the water up. So the water here is about three, anywhere from three to six degrees higher than it is two miles away from anything that's just open water on the flat. So that's kind of what we're concentrating for. And another two, three weeks when our water temperature comes up, the fish will migrate into to potholes that are a little bit further away from the shorelines. There we go. Little snooky. Almost like a little trout. Well, welcome back, folks. We've moved positions about three or four times today. Of course, the weatherman has got it wrong again, and we uh, have been dodging the wind, trying to come up to these spots that are getting warm. It's the first day of spring today, and uh, our target species right now is snook, which is exactly what I got here. Come here, dude. Come on. Able to use 40 pound test because the water has just got a little bit of a little bit of cloudiness to it. I'm gonna show you what this snook did. Oh, he ate that one. I'm gonna let him keep it. But you'll be able to see basically where that snook, I'll show you here in a second, but isn't that a pretty fish? We got an audience right here next to 275. That's a pretty one. I'm gonna let this guy back in the water. There we go, come on. That water's pretty warm. Get on out of here. Yeah, the water temperatures come up about four degrees and that's duly from uh, the sun coming up and the clear skies. And uh, we've had some good strong, we're on a full moon, so we've got some big tides moving in and out. And so we're just able to get lucky and get the water warmed up a little bit more than what it was this morning. Early spring fishing. Early spring fishing, first day of spring. I'm gonna put this against my blue shirt here so you can see basically where that snook chafed that leader up real good. That's why I went to 40 pound test. Just because if I was using 25, if the water was really, really clear, I would be using a lot lighter uh, fluorocarbon leader. Uh, and using the Seaguar 40 in here, you saw what that did, even with all that chafe. And I had to let that snook keep it. That hook will come out hopefully in a couple days and uh, it'd be good as new. But I'm gonna re-rig. So Blair, what I decided to do is we come over here, kind of get out of the wind. The yeah. wind conditions completely pulled a 180 on us. So basically, we're gonna be fishing this pothole that's deep against this mangrove island, and we're gonna try to catch some snook, possibly some redfish, and hopefully some trout, all in one spot. And we get a the Tampa, ba Tampa Bay slam. Yes, sir, let's do it. God, that wind just changed, didn't it? Well, Blair, now that we've kind of moved up, I think it's time I make it rain some more bait. What do you think? If you chum, they will come. Yes, sir. Ooh. There you go. Watch him eat it. That looks like a snooky. It definitely is. I guess that's the one that was over there eating. Is it a snook or red? It's a snook. Oh, he chased your bait all the way to the boat. You gonna double up, big dog? I'm trying. Come on, Daddy-O. Oh, it's a mackerel or something. No, it's a little trout. No, it is another red fish. Oh. <laughs> Told you it was a red fish. Who are you talking to here? Dude, are you seeing this trout trying to come up and eat the bait from my red fish? Yeah, it got me all excited. Well, I guess I'll land your red fish for you soon. You know, it's not every day. I get Blair Wiggins to land my fish. What were you saying? That's not a keeper redfish? That's Look, definitely a slot redfish. Looks like a keeper red to me. Get my finger in there, right? There we go. Got the old laser sharp number ones on him, do you? Yes, sir. Beautiful little redfish. 
I caught one about that size offshore the other day off Canaveral. We were at about 70 foot of water. Come up, he was about that size. Oh, wow. It was weird looking, had a bunch of mites and stuff all over him. But that's a pretty one. But well, they sure are pretty, brother. Yes, Good sir. Good job on that one. Hey, y'all stay tuned. We're gonna be right back with Chad Manning, Tampa Bay, and uh, who knows what else. Probably another snook. We're gonna be hitting this spot. But hey, after the break, you're gonna see something. We went out in December, and uh, we did a little grouper digging. Had, you know, kind of the same weather predictions that got bad on us, but we did catch a couple nice fish. So after the break, you see some grouper and maybe some more snook. We'll be right back. 